In all the post-debate buzz and political spin, there's one word that seems to be getting a lot of attention, that word being binder. And it's raising some questions about Mitt Romney's views on women in the workplace. Lisa Sylvester is here. She's taking a closer look. And what do you see? Well, well, you know, the thing that many people will remember about the debate is that phrase, binders full of women. The phrase has become a social media sensation. And our own CNN focus group counter showed that in real time, Romney's binder comments were actually a hit, particularly with women. But now though, some are questioning if, well, if he could have made his point in a slightly more elegant way. We took a concerted effort to go out and find women who had backgrounds that could be qualified to become members of our cabinet. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. That binder comment has become one of the most talkable moments of the debate. Within minutes, it had its own Twitter account, Pinterest board, and a Facebook page already with more than 300,000 followers. There actually was a binder, but there are different stories on how it came about. A Massachusetts nonpartisan women's coalition put forth those binders. In the fall of 2002, MassGap did approach Governor Mitt Romney and Shannon O'Brien to highlight this issue and request that they express a you know, uh, commitment um, to working with our group. Um, you know, and subsequently, after Governor Romney was elected, uh, MassGap came together. We actually worked really hard to vet qualified women candidates. There were hundreds of resumes that we put together um, and actually distributed and gave them to the administration. Romney has consistently been trailing behind President Obama in winning the women's vote, even as Democrats continue working their narrative that there is a GOP war on women. I thought that this is a desperate attempt to try to keep this war on women narrative alive. At last night's debate, Romney tried to counteract that by relating a story on work balance issues. My chief of staff, for instance, had two kids that were still in school. She said, I can't be here until 7 or 8 o'clock at night. I need to be able to get home at 5 o'clock so I can be there for making dinner for my kids and being with them when they get home from school. So he said, fine. Let's have a flexible schedule so you can have hours that work for you. Joanne Bamberger is the author of Mothers of Intention, How Women in Social Media Were Revolutionizing Politics in America. She said that statement made him look out of touch. That's not his worldview. That's not his experience. His experience is that, you know, it's the, the father of the family, the man of the family who goes out to make the money and the mother who stays at home. But despite the optics, history shows us Mitt Romney has surrounded himself with women. He tapped a woman, Beth Myers, to lead his search for a vice presidential running mate. Myers was his chief of staff when he was Massachusetts governor. And his lieutenant governor was also a woman, Carrie Healy. In his first two years in office, 42% of Romney's senior positions went to women. He actually took it a step further and said, I want my cabinet to be filled with uh, some of the top women in the country. I want to make sure that uh, there, there's equity there. He mentors women. He promotes their careers. Now, this is really interesting. Before Romney became Massachusetts governor, 30% of senior level positions in the state were held by women. In his first term, he did appoint even more women, but it was in the second half of his term the number of women in state senior positions had actually fell to about 27.5%. Uh, this information, according to a report by the Center for Women in Politics and Public Policy and that nonpartisan group, MassGap. So a lot of people are looking at all of this information to say, you know, what's the real story? Did he hire more women? Did he bring on more women or did he not? And it really is a snapshot. Depends if you're talking first term or second term or first half of his term or the second half of his term, rather. It's well. amazing how a phrase like binders of women, all of a sudden it takes off. And all, everyone seems to be talking about it. It certainly is the buzzword. And I think because a lot of people were just uh, surprised by the phrasing of it. It's not something that you hear every day, binders of women. Lisa, thanks very, very much. We'll probably be hearing more about it. <laughs> the gloves were clearly off at last night's at Town Hall debate. Not only